what's up youtube it is antoinette back with another style so this video y'all let me tell y'all i used to do twists i used to do twists about seven years ago all the time i used to do the small twists i used to do the large and the mediums i stopped doing them like four years ago because as a braider we already have like carpet tunnel in our hands and stuff so my hands already giving me a lot of trouble so I've never done them. Well, I haven't done them in a long time. So my, I told my sister I was going to do them on her in her head. I decided to do them, and I absolutely regret it. Hate that I told her that, but I'm still going to do it anyways. But I can guarantee you, this style will not make my website. Now I started mine off with a rubber band. You don't have to. But because she has so much hair, it would have been so much more harder for me to grip her hair um, with the two twists. So I would rather just put it in a ponytail and twist it from there, show the rubber band. Didn't matter. It was just a style that I was just doing on my sister's hair for content for you guys. You can do it just gripping the client's hair. I didn't feel like doing all of that. It would have just been so much more work. So I just literally just made it easier for myself. Working smarter, not harder this on this um, hairstyle by the way the rubber bands does not have to be tight after I wrap the rubber band around the client's hair I just pull down a little bit so that the client hair is not too tight you don't want your client to be walking around with ponytails in her hair and then a twist on top of that is just going to cause so much more tension you do not have to have all that tension on the client's hair this is my sister she wore the style for about two weeks once she took the style out it did not hurt it did not leave any balding it did not leave any sore spots so you do not want the client hair to be too tight even if you were just gray ripping your client hair without the rubber band don't do it tight it just cause twists alone already cause a lot of tension you don't want to cause a lot of tension on your client's hair So I usually don't go in and part out the entire head, but with these jumbo, I would call this a jumbo size with the way that I'm parting these because with my large knotless or if this was a large twist, they would be like, I would part this with a little bit smaller. She actually just has three rows of um, twists. So I would call this a jumbo. I would call this a jumbo size. So with this jumbo size, this is how I'm going to part this size. So I'm just going to part it all at one time and get all my parting and rubber bands in and out of the way with.
So I have decided after doing this style this particular day that I was not going to do this style again. I do not like it. It hurts really, really bad. Oh, I love the outcome, but I do not like doing it. It hurts a lot. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that no more. But you guys, you can see how the outcome is. It's really amazing. It's a very quick and easy style to do. Easy money. Um, this style literally only took me three hours and that's that was even with recording so um, with the camera up stopping a couple times throughout the style repositioning it repositioning the camera it took me three hours to do this style so it's very very quick and easy easy money something that you can do really really fast get another client in, do another one um, and it's a 250 and up style Now we are finished. This is the finished look. Turned out very pretty, very simple, very quick and easy style to try at home on a client practice. Um, yeah, you guys go. Hope you love it.